Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am going to be playing Leech Soul Puzzle. Uh, this is mainly just to show off the game a little bit. Are you serious? All right, sorry about that weird interruption. But anyways, so I mainly just wanted to show this game off because I thought it was a weird combination. Let's just talk about it for a second. Okay, first off, this is a Candy Crush clone and I wouldn't with Bleach slapped onto it and I wouldn't think that Candy Crush and Bleach would go together whatsoever, but here we are. So if you like Candy Crush, you'll probably like this. I really like Candy Crush. Well, really like is kind of a strong word. I like Candy Crush. I think it's fun. I don't know what these hearts are from, but I will use them later. So basically the idea of this game is to complete puzzles. Like I said, it's like Candy Crush. You have all sorts of different little booster items. If you, okay, if you guys have played Candy Crush, then it, it it's literally the same thing as Candy Crush. <laughs> it uses like the exact same items and it has the same setup pretty much. I don't know if the clear conditions quote unquote are the same because you don't earn points in this game. I'll show you when I do a puzzle. In fact, we're going to do one right now. So you don't really earn any points when you do the puzzles in this game. You're mainly just trying to accomplish some kind of objective. So in this case, I am cur I'm trying to fill the entire screen with this like liquid, this water, whatever it's supposed to be. Since this is bleach themed, I I really have no idea what this is. One thing that's cool though is that you get these little cutscenes. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but you get these little scenes <laughs> with the characters whenever you do stuff like that, whenever you use the special items. So that's really fun. As you can see, there's these items on the side. I think these are like premium items, I'll call them. They're not like booster items that you can just get within the game itself by d certain combinations of pieces, but you can buy these in the shop. I've never used them before because like I said, they're premium items, so I feel like it's a waste to use them. I don't know, that's just how I feel. But yeah, uh, this game is pretty cute. Like I said, it's really bizarre to me that they went with a Candy Crush game. Like, why? <laughs> I don't understand, but whatever. Okay, let's do that. Also, another thing that this game has is a season pass. So that's, again, very strange to me. Okay, I got really lucky with that first item. I'm gonna be so honest because I was trying this level before and I was sucking so bad. Oh, oh, oh wait, I can do it now. One thing I forgot you can do is you can actually like, I don't know if Candy Crush does this, but while stuff is moving around, you can like swap it around. I hope I phrased that right. It sounded kind of weird, but I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So like, if I do this, I can do this while that stuff is like falling and I can just keep doing stuff like that. I don't like to do that because I like to see what is happening. Will this work? Yeah, it will. Okay, good. Uh, Wait, what am I missing? Oh, way up here. Okay, that was stupid. You guys didn't see that. Do that. But yeah, this game also has a collab going on. Not a collab, but like a campaign going on with uh, Bleach Brave Souls. That's, again, very weird to me. I'm not playing Bleach Brave Souls anymore. I used to play it, but I'm not really into it anymore. It's just, it got boring. Like, the, I find this more fun at this point, but that's because this game has kind of a limit. It has a hard limit because you only have five lives. So every time you lose a level, you lose a life. If you complete a level, you keep your lives, but... Yeah, once you run out of lives, you have to wait for them to refill, and it takes 30 minutes to refill one heart, so it kind of keeps you from playing too much. Also, as you can see, I have this little Orihime acrylic stand in the left corner. That's another part of this game that's kind of cool, I guess. It makes it stand out a little bit. You, Every time you complete a level, you get crystals, and you can use these crystals to fill out the room of acrylic stand, or fill out the room with acrylic stands. So right now I'm on room three. I have a ton of crystals because I had kind of stopped doing this for a while. Also, I didn't want to start from the beginning because it's like it's pure tutorial and I feel like that's kind of boring for this kind of game. But yeah, anyway, so basically the idea is to recreate scenes from the anime slash manga. 
So what is this one called? The Queen of Defeat. So I guess this is supposed to be like when Hottie Bell or Holly Bell, whatever, when she lost to um, the Quincy's, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of silly. But it's fun to do this, I guess. Yay! Also, once every time you get a character acrylic stand, you can actually use them as a profile picture. So let me show you as an example. Uh, settings profile. So as you can see, my picture is Orihime. I think you start, you don't start off with her, but you get her through the tutorial. So now I have Hottie Bell. So these are all the other characters I already have. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if there's much point to doing this other than just for fun, honestly, but it's kind of cool. Don to Chaka. Yeah, I've been hoarding these crystals. Uh, but I apparently not really because I barely have enough to finish this room. <laughs> What's after this room? Hello? Uh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and then I guess you get like this, the scene. Or not a scene, but like an image from the anime. Cool. And this game is supposed to be, or it's supposed to take a lot of stuff from the Thousand Year Blood War arc, so. And we can move on to the next room. So let's just do that. It's gonna clear out the screen, but it doesn't really matter. Well, once it loads. All right, so Substitute Soul Reaper once more. Uh, Ichigo and then Hollow. Okay. So this is the season pass. I haven't used any of the items yet, although I probably should. You can buy a premium pass to get like all this other stuff. I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> like, I don't really see the point of doing it. I guess for like uh, aesthetic reasons, if you want some of this... Like, if you don't care about the premium items, but maybe you want the characters. But I don't see the point, like I said. Another thing you can do in this game is you can check out... Every character has, like, a little profile. And um, I guess they have different styles. Well, obviously they have different styles. We just saw another Ichigo in the shop. But yeah, it tells you a little bit about the characters. I didn't mean to go all the way back. What's Nell say? Enjoys playing Eternal Tag with Peshe and Dondachaka. Okay, well, that's cool. And what else can we do? Oh yeah, I guess you can look at your recreated scenes in the gallery. Oh, <laughs> I did that last time I recorded this too. I'll censor that out so you guys don't see that. But I guess you can take pictures if you wanted to. It's kind of silly. All right, anyways, let's keep going because I still have lives. You can also use booster items and watch... Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Oh, shoot. Well, whatever. You can add people in this game, and if you add them, you can send their hearts, just like Candy Crush. You can send them hearts, you can receive hearts, and you can use those hearts to keep playing the game, basically. You can also use booster items at the start of the puzzles. I don't like to do that because I like to just hoard my items. I don't know why, because... Really, I feel like you don't need to use items to complete every level, but there are some levels in this game that are really hard. Like, there was this one level I got so close to beating, but I ended up having to spend coins to get extra moves to complete it. Because that's one thing you can do, just like Candy Crush. If you run out of items, or not run out of items, if you run out of moves, you can use, um, what's it called? You can use coins to get some extra moves, so. Or whatever the currency is in Candy Crush. I don't know if it's coins. I haven't played in a long time. I personally try not to ever do that, but I did do it for that one level because it was taking me a really long time to beat it, and I was getting... I was just like, you know what? Let's just get this over with. I have coins. I'm probably not going to use them for anything else, so... What is even my goal? Okay, it's to destroy these boxes. I probably should have looked at that before I started doing this, but... Kind of too late now. Uh, I want to combine this with something, but I don't know if I'm going to have the opportunity to. Let's do that. I'm running out of moves. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this level. <laughs> Let's just do this. Uh, well, maybe. Okay, I have to destroy this one box. See, this is like, this is what would, yeah, this would be an opportunity to do what I said, but I'm going to do this instead. One thing that's really cool about this item is that it's, uh, it's Koten Zanchu, so it kind of targets whatever you need to clear. Like, it targets one thing that you need to clear, which is really helpful for stuff like that when you can't actually make a, or when you can't destroy or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> Uh, this video is kind of silly. There's also this, like, other event thing that's going on with, um, whatever this is in the right corner. I have no idea what that's about, but I think you can get items from that, too. I guess I can check it out really quick. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can just, um, you can get some items, I guess. Oh, wait, this is the featured reward? Does that mean I have to complete this whole thing to get this? Or do I have to, like, play a lot to get it? Like, are there more goals? I actually have no idea. Uh, I don't think I've sent out hearts yet, so let me do that really quick. There's kind of a cap on how many friends you can kind of have. Uh, it looks like it's only 10, so... Uh, let's just keep going. I'm probably not going to run out of lives at this point unless one of these levels is like crazy hard, but let's just try it out. So these chains, basically you can make combinations with these pieces, but you have to, like when you do that, they destroy the chains, but the piece remains. There's other annoying things that make it that are actually way worse. Like, there's a thing that makes it so you can't even make a combination with those items. But you have to destroy them. I, f I hope that made sense. If you guys have played this game, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I feel like sometimes this game is unresponsive because I, sw I swiped like five times on that and nothing happened. <laughs> Maybe it's not the game. Maybe it's my phone. Who knows? I'm kind of sucking right now. Uh, let's do that. Let's just do this. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this game. I think it's fun. It's, like I said, Candy Crush clone. So if you don't like puzzle games like this or whatever then you probably aren't going to enjoy this and it's such a weird combination like since bleach is an action anime there's a lot of fighting and stuff you would think you would get a more action oriented game but apparently not but i mean i i guess there already are a bunch of action oriented games like uh bleach brave souls um, there's- I saw other stuff in the shop. Okay, I totally failed that level. Let's actually use a booster item just to see how it goes. Because like I said, I never use them, but let's just use them. Let's use all three, just for funsies. Because after this, I'm probably never going to use them again, so... Unless I really need to. Okay, well, I wish they put them in a slightly better location, but... Like, I was hoping to fuse them. That's okay, though. Alright, let's do that. I don't want to use a premium item, you guys. Like, I'm sorry. I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that because now I can't combine this piece with anything, but... Live and learn. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, I can do this. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, oh, I should have done the other one. It would have been smarter. Oh, well. I love to do these combinations. It's so much fun. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh well. I had a fifth green piece. Okay. I probably shouldn't 
I think I fiddle too much with combinations sometimes because it's like at some point I have to actually try to destroy stuff. Oh, I got this. Okay, there we go. Yay, that was easy. Okay, so I guess booster items make the level significantly easier. And uh, since you don't get points for this, I kind of don't even bother watching it. I think you get extra coins, maybe, for completing a level. Actually, that's another thing. I don't think you can replay levels, so I kind of wonder how long this game lasts, or like how many levels there are. Or if it makes you go back and do all the levels again or something, because as far as I know, there's no way to go back. At least that's what it seems like. So sweet. Yay! New item. I haven't used any of these or collected any of them, but I'm not going to. Not till later, I think. I don't know if I'm going to complete this. There's a lot to go. I'll try. Uh, let's just do one more level. I know I said I was going to stop there, but this will be my last level. Okay. Let's do this. This will probably be the only time I play this though, because this game is is cute. It, it it's very cute, and I like it, but it doesn't really. I feel like there's not much to watch. Like I feel like it's more fun to play than to actually watch. It's one of those things. I think there's a lot of games you can watch someone play and be like, oh, this is cool, but this is like once you see everything, you kind of there's not much else to do. Um, I guess we'll do that. Was that even smart? I have no idea. Well, it wasn't not smart, I guess. Okay, let's destroy this box. There we go. Okay, now I have to destroy these other boxes, which is going to be annoying, I think. Uh, frig. Okay, what if I do that? Uh, I really want to make a combination with this, but it's hard because it's not in a good position. But I feel like if I use it now, it's going to be not very helpful because I don't think it's going to destroy much of anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to set that off. Okay, that was a waste. This game is addicting, though. Are you serious? Oh, I wish I could show this off. If you do both of them together, they like blow up the whole screen it's cool oh yeah I'm not gonna be able to I might just use them individually <laughs> even though it's not gonna get me anywhere yeah that did nothing that sucks yeah see that's why I didn't want to use it because it doesn't it like destroys all of a specific color but it's kind of pointless if you have to destroy a lot of boxes so I don't know. That's going to be it for this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out this game if you like Candy Crush. If you don't, then I guess don't. It's Like I said, it's a weird game, and I have no idea what the rewards are for Bleach Brave Souls, but I guess if you have to do something to get something in Ble Breach Bleach Brave Souls, then it might be worth it just to try, because it's not like it's hard. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.